getting to understand her process, etc. So, uh, in this edition of the Music Club, we have a very interesting artist. Uh, her name is Neeta Madhu. And uh, a very brief introduction, uh, a very, very not brief note of her life and work. She was trained at an early age by her mother, Srimadhi Uma Madhu. And uh, later she learned Khayal singing under the guidance of Vidushi Krishna Pish, a well-known classical exponent of Delhi Kharana. She is also trained under uh, Pandit Gogolov Sivji Maharaj. Incidentally, I just want to remind you that we have a workshop with Pandit Gogolov Sivji Maharaj this month. And if any of you are interested, you please register with the programs department. And she is trained uh, professionally as a musician and also she has her academic credentials uh, in music. So she is teaching at the Vivekananda College, teaching Hindustani classical music. And uh, she has also written books on musicology and about artists. Uh, the, uh, with reference to Gogol Sivji Maharaj, she has a book which is titled Shastri Sangeet Ke Mahan Stam Pandit Gogol Sivji Maharaj and Shastri Sangeet Ke Surya, which is another book. Hindustani Sangeet Me Holi Gayan, she, that is another book that she has authored. And besides publishing, uh, she has also uh, you know, delivered lectures in important universities and departments of art and music in different parts of the world. Uh, it is our pleasure to have her in the music club, and it's great to see this audience. We hope that more people will come in, and uh, let us start. Thank you very much. Uh, just before we start, uh, just a token of our appreciation of her work. We would like to present her a small. I'd like to mention Abhijit Singh, who is on tabla, and Abhijit Aich, who is on tabla, and Sakir Borpuri, who is uh, on a harmony. My dear friends, distinguished guests, and music lovers, first of all, let me give my heartfelt thanks to IHC Music Club for giving me this opportunity to share my views on Haveli compositions in Hindustani classical music. As we all know, music holds a very prominent place in the temple traditions of India. Rather, it has been an inseparable part in the Vaishnavite cults of India. And as our scriptures say, Veena Vadan Tatvakya, Shruti Jati Visharadaha, Talagyascha, Aprayasen Moksha Marga Madhigachati, means the person who is well versed in the, this Vidya of Sangeet, and the person who is well versed in playing Veena, Pakhavaj, or other instruments, he is sure to attain self realization. So, our scriptures, they have glorified music as a sacred medium or as a celestial vehicle to attain self-realization or God-realization. So, God himself says, Na aham vasami vaikunthe yoginam pradhyayinva mad bhakta yatra gayanti tatra tishthami narad. It's a quotation from Padma Puran. So, we can say that music has a very close connection with divinity and a song or a prayer or a musical offering or Rag Seva. Rag Seva is supposed to be the highest form of worship in the Vaishnavite cults of India. So before now elaborating or discussing some points on the Haveri compositions, let me give you a brief history and background and uh, something about the Haveli tradition or Haveli Badga and Parampara. It was during the 14th or 15th centuries probably when the Bhakti movement took the center stage in the life, in the religious life of the people of India. Amongst the religious cults of India, I think the Krishna Bhakti cults, sects, perhaps have the, the most astonishing and 